A battle over health care taxes launched today in Salem. This was the deadline for forcing a statewide vote on this issue, and supporters of a repeal effort say they've done it. KGW's Pat Doris is live in Salem to explain what's going on. Pat? Well, Joe, State Rep. Julie Parrish is the one leading the push to try and repeal these taxes. Today, she showed up here in Salem with boxes and boxes full of signatures, way more, she said, than she needed to force a vote on the issue. Late this afternoon, Representative Julie Parrish proudly stood in front of boxes that she says carry the signatures of 84,367 registered voters. 80% of the names were gathered by volunteers, she said, suggesting there is deep grassroots strength behind the move to repeal the two taxes on health care. We think a sales tax on health care, on your health insurance premiums, when big corporations, unions, and insurance companies got a carve out, we don't think that's fair. Lawmakers passed the taxes, 1.5% on health insurance premiums and 0.7% on certain hospitals, last session. They're trying to plug a gap left by the Affordable Care Act. When it began, 350,000 Oregonians joined the Medicaid program. The federal government paid 100% for the first two years. But this year, the feds will only cover 95%. Those who want to repeal the taxes say it's unfair. This hurts more people than is even remotely reasonable, particularly when PERS is the big issue. I'm sorry, that's just it. Uh, we keep scrambling for more revenue because Nobody will fix PERS. On the other side. And we're here today because protecting affordable health care is a top priority for our union and for our members. Powerful voices today, like Meg Nimey, who's madness, president of the SEIU Local 49, a union of 13,000 hospital and health care workers. Their side wants to keep the taxes, arguing that without them, all those added people could be thrown off Medicaid and insurance premiums would go up for those who have to buy insurance on the open market. I was very pleased to learn that I would be getting at least some relief next year, and that thanks to the funding from the referendum, my premiums will be dropped by nearly $800 a year. If the signatures hold up, a statewide vote will be held this January. Back to you.